know there's a point here? In line with your ears, here, if you do this, the whole body will shift the heat into your brain very rapidly, it should not happen. You will die vomiting blood. You put a spoon of eucalyptus oil in the water, cold water and pour it over you. Always a bath means the first pail of water is on your head, always. Putting cold water on your body will shift the heat into your brain very rapidly, it should not happen. So this is why those who don't want to wet their hair, at least should take a little bit of cold water and put it… You know there's a point here, in line with your ears, here. At that point, you put little cold water, immediately you will see a certain cooling happens in the head region. After that, you can have bath with just the body. But otherwise, you always… the first pail of water is over your head not on your body. So what you do is, you fill the bucket and <laughs> that's the best way to do it in the morning. The, bo the body should be immersed in water, that you're trying to create a simulated dip in the river. At the same time, the whole body should be… at least the skin should be covered in water at the same time, not like this, 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 like this, 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 you know. <laughs> if you pour water, the whole body… the body should think you're taking it for a dip. So, if you pour like this, there is a certain coolness in the system and muscles become very flexible. Shower can do it too, if the shower is uh, forceful enough or uh, at least if the volume of water is good enough, shower can easily do that. Use water which is little cooler than the room temperature. If you're in a colder country, if you're in a temperate climate, the water may be too cold, that is not good. The water must be, let's say, within five to eight degrees centigrade lower than the room temperature. The water should be just somewhere five to eight degrees below room temperature, not an excessively cold water. Usually in our homes, the, the pail that we use to pour water is this big, at least it has four liters of water. If you do this, the whole body, that's it, always… I mean, I'm not… Uh, going to insist on this for the ladies, your hairstyles and everything. When you shower, it is not just the dirt on the skin that you're taking away. Have you noticed if you're very tense and anxious, whatever, just the shower you came out and feels like almost the burden has been taken away from you? Have you not noticed this? So it's not just about washing the skin. A whole lot of things happen when water flows over your body. This shower is a very rudimentary bhuti shuddhi. Because over seventy percent of your body is actually water. If you run water over it, a certain purification happens, which is beyond cleaning the skin. When you let water go over you, you're not just cleaning the physical self, that is you're not just cleaning the skin, something else also gets cleaned. Let's say you're feeling very angry, agitated and all kinds of things happening within you, you just go have a shower and come out, you feel all the nonsense kind of washed off. So, a shower is not just about cleaning the skin of your body, you can cleanse the aura to some extent because what you call as body is a manifestation or a play of fire elements. So you can give yourself a water bath,